Hello and welcome to this video where we'll be discussing product strategy and go-to-market strategy. Both of these strategies are essential for any business to succeed. However, they have different roles and objectives. In this video, we will explore the differences between product strategy and go-to-market strategy, and how you can develop and implement these strategies to achieve your business goals. Part 1. What is product strategy? Product strategy is a long-term plan that outlines the direction of a product and the company's approach to building and marketing it. The product strategy is typically focused on the product's development, features, pricing, positioning, and target audience. A good product strategy helps to ensure that your product aligns with the needs and desires of your target market. Developing a product strategy involves researching and understanding your target audience, analyzing the competition, and assessing the market trends. This process allows you to identify gaps in the market and opportunities to differentiate your product from competitors. Once you have a clear understanding of your target market, you can develop a roadmap for your product that outlines the features, pricing, and timeline for release. Part 2. What is Go-to-Market Strategy? Go-to-Market Strategy, on the other hand, is the plan of action for delivering your product to the target market. It includes the channels, messaging, and tactics that you will use to reach your target audience, generate demand, and ultimately, drive sales. The go-to-market strategy should align with the product strategy and be developed with a deep understanding of the target market. It should also consider the competition and the overall market landscape. A well-designed go-to-market strategy can help to ensure that your product reaches its intended audience, generates buzz, and drives revenue. Part 3. Key Differences Between Product Strategy and Go-to-Market Strategy The key difference between product strategy and go-to-market strategy is their focus. Product strategy is focused on the development of the product, while go-to-market strategy is focused on delivering the product to the target market. Another key difference is the timeline. Product strategy is typically a long-term plan that outlines the direction of the product over several years. In contrast, go-to-market strategy is a shorter-term plan that focuses on the immediate launch and success of the product. Finally, the success metrics for these two strategies are different. The success of the product strategy is typically measured by customer satisfaction, retention, and revenue growth over time. The success of the go-to-market strategy, on the other hand, is measured by the initial sales, adoption rate, and customer acquisition. Part 4. Importance of Product Strategy and Go-to-Market Strategy Both product strategy and go-to-market strategy are essential for the success of any business. A well-designed product strategy ensures that your product is aligned with the needs and desires of your target market, and provides a roadmap for the product's development over time. This, in turn, helps to build a loyal customer base, drive customer satisfaction, and grow revenue over time. A well-designed go-to-market strategy, on the other hand, helps to ensure that your product reaches its intended audience, generates buzz, and drives sales. This is critical for the success of any product, as even the best product in the world will fail if it doesn't reach its intended audience. Part 5. How to Develop a Product Strategy To develop a product strategy, you should start by researching and understanding your target audience. This includes identifying their needs, wants, and pain points. You should also analyze the competition and assess the market trends to identify gaps in the market and opportunities to differentiate your product. Once you have a clear understanding of your target market, you can begin to develop a roadmap for your product. This roadmap should include the product features, pricing, positioning, and timeline for release. It should also consider the resources and capabilities of your organization. When developing the product roadmap, it's important to prioritize the features based on their importance to the target audience and their ability to differentiate your product from competitors. You should also consider the cost and feasibility of developing these features, and whether they align with your organization's overall goals and objectives. It's important to review and update the product strategy regularly to ensure that it remains relevant and aligned with the changing needs and preferences of the target market. Part 6. How to Develop a Go-to-Market Strategy To develop a go-to-market strategy, you should start by defining your target audience and identifying the channels they use to gather information and make purchasing decisions. This could include social media, email marketing, search engine optimization, events, and more. Next, you should develop messaging that resonates with your target audience and clearly communicates the benefits of your product. This messaging should be tailored to the specific channels you're using to reach your target audience. You should also consider the pricing strategy for your product and how it fits within the market landscape. This could include discounts, promotions, and bundling options to incentivize early adoption and drive sales. Finally, you should track and analyze the results of your go-to-market strategy to identify areas for improvement and make data-driven decisions for future campaigns. 
Part 7, How Product Strategy and Go-to-Market Strategy Work Together Product strategy and go-to-market strategy are closely linked and must work together to ensure the success of a product. A well-designed product strategy provides the foundation for the go-to-market strategy, while the go-to-market strategy ensures that the product reaches its intended audience and drives sales. For example, the product roadmap should consider the channels and messaging that will be used to market the product. The go-to-market strategy should also consider the product features and benefits and use them to create compelling messaging that resonates with the target audience. In addition, the success of the go-to-market strategy can provide valuable feedback for the product strategy. For example, if a particular messaging strategy resonates particularly well with the target audience, this could indicate an opportunity to develop additional features that align with these benefits. In conclusion, product strategy and go-to-market strategy are essential for the success of any business. A well-designed product strategy ensures that your product is aligned with the needs and desires of your target market, while a well-designed go-to-market strategy ensures that your product reaches its intended audience and drives sales. Remember to regularly review and update both strategies to ensure that they remain relevant and aligned with the changing needs and preferences of your target market. Thank you for watching this video, and we hope you found it helpful.